On a personal note, we are also here to urge OPPD to retire the North Omaha coal plant because as you can see, it produces 300 pounds of mercury every year. We have one of the highest asthma rates in the nation and we need to remind OPPD that they do, they are elected officials and they do work for Omaha. And we have the power to remove them if they are not going to encourage a better future. Good morning. Good morning. We are, we are here with Organize Omaha. We are citizens of Omaha. And the reason that we're here this morning is because our local energy company, OPPD, makes excessive profits from dirty energy and doesn't put the adequate resources into renewable energy. So we're here today to kick off a series of actions and the demands that include implementation of renewable energy, reducing our dependence on dirty energy, reducing our overconsumption of energy, and we want to put the profits that Nebraska sells this energy to into maintaining the health care for the people most directly affected by the negative energy effects of coal, nuclear energy, the people in North Omaha specifically suffer from asthma related to the coal plant. Now it sucks to be cold. It sucks to be cold and radioactive. It's definitely worse to be cold and radioactive. The North Omaha coal plant for OPPD is ranked number one in the nation for mercury emissions. There are over 300 pounds a year of mercury that are released into the air that are breathed in by the people in North Omaha and all over Omaha. Within three miles of the plant, asthma rates, asthma hospitalizations are twice the national average. The energy we use from the coal plant, the coal comes from the Wyoming Powder Basin. The people that mine these, that, that mine this coal are companies like Kiwit, Peabody Energy, and St. Louis. The people that benefit from polluting our air and poisoning our people are companies like BNSF Railways, which is owned by Omaha's own Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett profits from the poisoning of the people of North Omaha. This is not right. There are some groups in town that say we need to even ask Buffett to help us in getting renewable or clean energy. We need to stop asking Buffett to help us. He's too busy counting his money to help us. OPPD gets 45% of its power from coal, 27% from oil and natural gas, and 15% from nuclear energy. And we currently get less than 1% of our energy in Omaha from renewable sources. Now, our Fort Calhoun plant in Blair has been closed down for two years due to safety concerns that started with a fire that was due to a flood. The Missouri River area is only going to become more flood prone in the coming years. So why do we have a nuclear plant right within a water boundary that feeds almost 7 million people? Fort Calhoun has been closed for almost two years, not producing any energy. OPPD has more energy than it needs. And when the damage was assessed at the Fort Calhoun plant, OPPD estimated it would cost $143 million to repair the plant. But rather than repair the plant, OPPD entered into a contract for $400 million over the next 20 years, that's $20 million a year, to keep the nuclear plant open. If the plant has been closed for two years and we have more than enough energy, why is it being reopened? The answer is simple, greed. It's being opened for profits despite the health effects that it would have for the people. The one thing that no one talks about when we talk about clean and renewable energy is it's not just a matter of having better alternatives, we need to consider how much it is we actually use and how much we actually need. A car runs on 12 volts of electricity. The human body runs on 55 millivolts. In one volt, you can power almost a thousand people. We have 
not just an overconsumption problem, but we have a problem with how we even view our human energy. And even more critical than the coal plant that pollutes, it comes back to the Fort Calhoun plant. The Missouri River between Omaha and St. Louis provides water for over 7 million people. When the Fort Calhoun plant flooded in 2011, the spent fuel rods that are stored above ground nearly came in contact with the Missouri River. If this happens, the Missouri River being contaminated, it will stretch over an area over 400 miles. The time is critical. We must assess our energy consumption. We must rethink our energy needs. It sucks to be cold. It hurts to be cold and radioactive. As part of our plan to halt the opening of the Fort Calhoun plant and convert our energy to more renewable and realistic needs, we're calling on people in the city of Omaha to join us here December 19th at the OPPD board meeting to voice your opposition to reopening the Fort Calhoun plant and to encourage our public representatives at OPPD to push for more renewable resources. We are also calling for people along the Missouri River, whether it's Kansas City, St. Louis, smaller communities on the river, to join us in a call-in effort to let OPPD know that radioactive water for profits for the board members is not okay. We must protect our water and our land, for without them we'll have nothing. It's not too late. It's too late once our water is undrinkable. It's too late once our air is unbreathable. It sucks to be cold. It's worse to be cold and radioactive. Therefore, we're calling on people to watch our meeting tomorrow at the Malcolm X Center. We're having a talk on justice. We're a talk on environmental justice and social justice. We encourage people watching this video to join us Saturday from 1 to 3 at the Malcolm X Center, 3448 Evans Street. Together we can get this done. We have a public utility, so we have the public responsibility to make sure our air and water are clean and usable for future generations. We're the people of Omaha and we would intend to make our demands with OPPD more known and we're asking the public to join us. This affects you too. Thank you for your time.